It was a Saturday afternoon in November. I was home cleaning house when someone knocked on my door. It was one of the gentlemen in the neighborhood and he said, your neighbor's dying. And I said, what do you mean? He said, come on, I'll show you. The gentleman was unconscious, pulseless. His face was gray, his lips were blue. There was a teenager here and he was at the side of him and he was trying to give him the Narcan. And he said, I, I don't know what to do. And I said, well, just go ahead and give it to me. I gave him the Narcan. I administered a second dose, so I started CPR right away. I did it for maybe a minute or two. I heard the sirens coming. I saw him starting to vomit a little bit, so I turned him to the recovery position, checked for a pulse. By that time, fire medics have arrived. So when they got down to put him on the monitor, as soon as they put the oxygen on him, he sat up and a bystander said, look, he's awake, he's awake. It's a hard, stressful situation, and in this moment, Jill knew how to act. She drew on all of her training, and she used them in, in the street to help a neighbor and someone in need that she didn't even know. This life was saved really because of her and because of this amazing drug that we have in our hospital too. Narcan is super important. This is a super easy medicine to give. So you can give this to someone who's not responsive and it will cause help if someone is, has a fentanyl or a narcotic overdose. So if you find someone down, and you have Narcan at the ready, you're gonna take it out of the box. There's two doses here. You're gonna peel back the dose and you're gonna take this little plastic device, insert it in the person's nose. You're gonna push until it clicks. When you hear the click, you know that the medicine has been delivered. Then you're gonna do chest compressions if they don't have a pulse. Just chest compressions, more and more chest compressions after someone has called 911. And then, if nothing's still happening, you're gonna have someone else do chest compressions if you can, and you're going to use the second dose, insert it in the nose, push, and hear the click, and you'll deliver your second dose. It is important for, for parents to talk to their kids and about Narcan, and if they do have it in their home, um, show them how to use it. It's important for the kids to be able to not feel afraid that if they're gonna give it, they just go ahead and give it because they can save someone's life by giving the Narcan. It's so important that we have it on our person, in our bags, in our homes for the time when someone might need it.